Hey guys, this is Otaku O'Neill and welcome back. Uh, so today I want to talk to you guys about Nichiren Buddhism. Uh, what I've learned, uh, my experience, and uh, how I got involved into the practice in the first place. Okay, so what exactly is Nichiren Buddhism? So Nichiren Buddhism, um, also known as Hokeshu, meaning Lotus Sect, is a branch of Mahayana Buddhism, which is based on the teachings of the Japanese Buddhist priest Nichiren Daishonin, who pretty much brought Buddhism to Japan from China 1,300 years ago during the Kamakura period, or the Kamakura Jidai. So Nichiren Buddhism sources its doctrine from the Lotus Sutra, claiming that all sentient beings possess an inner Buddha nature capable of attaining Buddhahood in one's current life. So there are three essential aspects to Nichiren Buddhism. Uh, number one is the faith in Nichiren's Gohonzon. Number two is the chanting of nam myoho renge with varying recitations of the Lotus Sutra. And number three, uh, the studying of Nichiren's scriptural writings called Gosho. So after Nichiren died during the Musashi period, he left his followers and senior disciples the mandate to propagate the Gohonzon and chanting Daimoku in order to secure peace and prosperity to society. And this also ties in with the meaning of the term Kozen Lufu. And uh, literally, literally what that means is to widely declare and to spread. Nichiren Daishonin defines nam myoho renge as the law to be widely declared and spread throughout the world. And Kozen Lufu is the process of securing lasting peace and happiness for all humankind, while establishing the humanistic ideals of Nichiren Buddhism in our society. He declared that the Lotus Sutra alone contains the highest truth of Buddhist teachings suited for the Third Age of Buddhism, insisting that the sovereign of Japan and its people should support only this form of Buddhism and eradicate all others. So you see, Buddhism, the way that it's practiced in Japan, is very different from other Asian countries like China, Korea, Thailand, and Vietnam. Uh, in other words, we don't chant and pray to a statue of a chubby man dressed up in a toga. Instead, we chant to a scroll that serves as a mirror reflecting the essence of our soul and inner Buddha nature. We basically call it the Gohonzon. Now, what is the Gohonzon? It is the fundamental object of respect and devotion in Nichiren Buddhism, embodying the laws of nam myoho renge which permeates all life and expressing the life state of Buddhahood that is inherent in all people. Nichiren Daishonin inscribed the Gohonzon and has taught that by chanting nam myoho renge to it enables us to call forth our inner Buddha nature from within. And because the Gohonzon is such an important object that we chant and pray to, you want to be sure to keep it in a safe place, like in an altar or a cabinet. And for that, we have something called a Butsudan, which houses the Gohonzon, like a small cabinet with two opening doors. And uh, also be sure to have uh, your Butsudan neatly placed against the wall surface. You can also have your Butsudan hanging up on the wall, like a painting, uh, or you could just have it um, on top of your desk or a dresser in your living room or in your bedroom, which, which would be best. And basically, you have your personal living space to chant and pray to, whether it be your bedroom, living room, or dining room. And essentially, you uh, chant gongyo uh, to your gohonzon uh, one to two times a day for 30 minutes. And what is gongyo? Uh, gongyo, uh, the literal meaning for that word, is to exert oneself from within. Gongyo refers to the twice daily Nichiren Buddhist practice of reciting portions of the second to 16th chapters of the Lotus Sutra, and chanting nam myoho renge with faith in the Gohonzon. And what does nam myoho renge mean? It is the ultimate truth or law of the universe that permeates all phenomena. Nichiren Daishonin established the practice of chanting nam myoho renge as a means to awaken our Buddhahood. Shakyamuni Buddha's highest teaching, which states that Buddhahood exists eternally in all people. Nichiren Daishonin established the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo as a means to awaken our Buddhahood. Myoho Renge Kyo is the Japanese reading of the Chinese title of the Lotus Sutra. Nichiren Daishonin added the Sanskrit word Nam, meaning devotion or dedication. Myoho, meaning mystic law, 
Lenge, which is a lotus flower, uh, which is a plant that continuously blooms and seeds, indicating the simultaneity of cause and effect. Enkyo meaning sutra or Buddhist teaching. And there's a booklet that you can pick up called The Liturgy of the Soka Gakkai, where you can practice and recite Gongyo when chanting Nam Myoho Lenge Kyo to the Gohonzon. Soka Gakkai is one of today's modern temple organizations dedicated to Nichiren Daishonin's teachings. Then you have the Soka Gakkai International, or SGI, which is recognized as the world's most prominent Japanese export religion to draw significant numbers of non-Japanese converts by which Nichiren Buddhism has spread throughout the world. Founded by the three presidents, Sunesaburo Makiguchi, Jose Toda, and Daisaku Ikeda. SGI characterizes itself as a support network for practitioners of Nichiren Buddhism and a global Buddhist movement for peace, education, and cultural exchange. So how exactly did I first get involved into the practice? Well, it was in 2016, and I met an SGI member who was the former roommate of my old college buddy. He shakubukud me into the practice, uh, in invited me to the homes of other Soka members to chant and pray gongyo to the Gohonzon. And as I went, I steadily learned about Nichiren Buddhism and its teachings. After a few short months, the members of my Soka division had asked me to become a member of SGI, and I said to them no. And I chose not to become an SGI member for two reasons. I knew that there would be many conditions, obligations, and contributions that I would have to comply myself to, and I didn't want to deal with any of that. I never do things that I do not want to do in order to please other people, to expect things in return, like social acceptance or to be part of any type of private club or organization. In other words, I'm not someone who is easily corrupted, brainwashed, manipulated, or influenced. And the only reason why I say this is because I always work really hard to avoid those situations. So you see, choosing a path of spirituality and choosing to become a member of an organization are two completely different things. I realized then which path was the more righteous one to follow that I knew would benefit me best. So I settled with becoming a loyal supporter of Nichiren Buddhism and its teachings by my own terms. So in every path of spirituality, there is an education and science behind it all. So it's really important that you understand what spiritual practice you immerse yourself into. And it all goes down to the universal question, why should I become a member of SGI? Or why should I devote my life to chanting Nam Yoho Lenge Kyo and Nichiren Daishonin's teachings? Am I doing this for the right or wrong reasons? Am I choosing to embrace the spiritual practice to change my own life or the lives of others? Am I choosing to chant every day in order to get out of a difficult situation in my life? Whether it be a financial situation or maybe you are the kind of person who is in uh, some kind of abusive relationship or a marriage. So if you do decide to become a member of SGI and follow Nichiren Buddhism's teachings, make sure that it's what you truly want and not what others want based on their own personal opinion alone. You have to be an independent thinker and decide what is best for you. And before I wrap up this conversation, I wanna share some resource intel with you guys on where you can find out more about Nichiren Buddhism and Soka Gakkai International. There is this awesome journal that I read called The Living Buddhism, which I believe is the best resource in gaining a deeper understanding of Nichiren Buddhism. Unfortunately, I no longer have a subscription to the journal, but I have here in my room uh, six or seven issues of The Living Buddhism. But you can create an online subscription at their sgiusa.org website, or you can just call their member services number. I'll leave that info for you here at the bottom of the screen. And if you do live anywhere in the United States and want to find an SGI USA location closest to you, there are East, Central, and West Territory locations in all 50 states, including the Caribbean islands and my country, Puerto Rico. You can reach out to these guys, meet up for a chant, and participate in Daimoku. It is a great experience, and there's a lot that you will learn about Nichiren Buddhism. 
Thanks again for watching my video. I hope this info has brought you interest in Nichiren Buddhism as well as SGI. And I will see you on the next video. Domo arigato and nam yoho rengekyo.